Sounds good. Thank you. Tax season is here. It's that time of year and it can be very stressful, but it doesn't have to cause you unnecessary anxiety. Experts can help sort out some of that confusion and we are joined by one. The tax law attorney Lance Drury joins us with tax tips. Uh, he's going to talk to us a little bit about that. Good afternoon, Lance. Thanks for being with us. Well, thank you for having me. Well, my first question for you, what are some of the differences that we can expect going into this year's tax season? Well, I can tell you one of the big differences is because of the pandemic, things are really slow at the IRS. They are so backed up now. Uh, it's very frustrating to taxpayers. It's frustrating to us. But that's the new reality going forward for the next six months to a year or even longer. Just to give you an example, they shut down the facility that processes their tax returns from May the 1st to July 15th. When they came back, there were over 5 million tax returns sitting outside their facility waiting to be processed. Now, historically, it would take four to six weeks to process a tax return. Now it's taking three months and longer for that same thing to be accomplished. The other thing is it's taking us much letter to access information for our powers of attorney to process because that facility was set down for shut down for over two months. So it, it's very unfortunate uh, and historically the IRS never catches up once they fall behind. So it's just something that we're going to have to deal with in the future. The other thing is they're spending money during this pandemic like it grows on a tree. So they have to replenish their coffers and there's going to be more levies, I predict, than there's been in 15 years. That's for two reasons. One, I just pointed out, they have to replenish their coffers because they're spending all this money now. But the other reason is back in late 2019, the new commissioner of the IRS said he was setting up, uh, going to do more enforcement action in 2020. And in January, February, and March of last year, I saw more assets seized, more income taken, more wages garnished, and more bank accounts wiped out than I'd seen in six to eight years. They've already started. They started the second right. week of November, and they're Lance, uh, I'm continuing so sorry to, to send people here. notice of intent to levy letters, and that's only going to increase with time. Lance, thank you so much for all of that helpful information. We appreciate your time. And for anyone that does have more questions about your taxes, you can go to LanceDruryLaw.com. That is LanceDruryLaw.com. And of course, we will have a link on our website. Several stories still.